Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you again for another video, and this is for uh the Killers' is new track review for Dying Breed that I just got done listening to. So I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this track and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, sorry about the blurriness. It's from uh, my window or whatever it's does that a lot I don't know it's been messing up with the camera thing on this phone it did it with the last phone it's doing it with this one which this one I don't know it's just having technical problems with these phones so I'm definitely trying to save up for a laptop I don't even know if I'm going to get one for my birthday but money is a little tight right now I'm looking to have to find another job or whatever which is gonna suck because I'll be out of work and yeah but to talk about this track uh, the killers dying breed it's not bad um, I didn't like the long intro to the song it, and some of the beat of the song was a little out of place like it went off key a little bit but then it started picking up and building up and I'm like okay this isn't as bad as fire and bone fire and bone was an average song but it wasn't bad it could have been a lot better but it wasn't bad it was just average I gave that like a 3.5 out of 5 because I think that's what it kind of deserves. It doesn't deserve a higher rating than that. Uh, then you have My Own Soul's Warning, the last single, which I really did like. And I did like Caution too. This one may take a little bit of time to grow on me, but it's going to get a pretty solid rating. Um... Brandon Flowers, his voice in it is a little bit mellow than the last one. Um, my own soul's warning, he started singing a little higher, which I really did like. And Caution, he really did uh, sh brought out his true voice in it, and I really liked it. Uh, these two singles were, the other two singles, Fire and Bone and this one, are just mediocre. They're not my favorite ones, but they're, I think I would prefer Caution and My Own Soul's Warning over these two. Dying Breed isn't bad. It's probably the th third s single that I kind of like. I don't know for sure, but yeah, um, out of five, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of five. This isn't so bad. I would prefer this song over Fire and Bone, in my opinion, because Fire and Bone wasn't their best track by the Killers, but this one isn't so bad. It had some build up towards two or three minutes in the song, and then it started picking up, and I was like, okay, this is getting a little better. Uh, it may take me a couple more listens for it to really grow on me, but who knows, I may have a different opinion when I review the album next week, which it's coming out August 21st, imploding the Mirage. Hopefully it comes out that day. I hope it doesn't get delayed again, because that would really suck. <laughs> but definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Killers' new song, Dying Breed, if you've heard it. And if you like this track review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for two other track reviews. Youngblood's Lemonade with a featured artist in it. And then I'll be doing a Evanescence's Use My Voice track review. And then another song, Weezer's new song. Uh, 
think it's called Beginning of the End. I believe that's what it's called. I don't even know if it's going to be on their Van Weezer album, which that would be cool if it is, but I don't know. It's a song for the movie Bill and Ted 3, Face the Music. Uh, that's, I guess it's kind of a theme song for it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this, uh, track review that I made for, uh, The Killer's Dying Breed. And sorry, that was a ding from my messenger thing. Um, yeah, I hope I did a good job on it. I have been going through a lot lately because I just... I'm probably going to have to look for another job, which is going to suck. Which I'm looking for it while I'm still working for this other place or whatever. Uh, the sign holding thing. But for now, I'm going to have to stick with it until I know that I have a job lined up. That way I can tell my actual boss that I'm done. But yeah. It, I shouldn't be revealing too much of my actual personal life right now. I'm sorry if I'm doing that. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me and how I'm doing mental health wise and other things like that. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this track review that I made for you guys. Definitely stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in my next video.